Hi everyone, Dave Hayes here. Uh, this is Hayes Tech and Ron Reviews. <clears throat> Are you tired of your ass going to sleep and hurting after hours of working on your PC? <laughs> uh, does your ass swell or bruise from endless hours from watching your favorite por YouTube videos? Well, have I got the solution for you. When we come back, I'm going to show you a revolutionary breakthrough in ass swelling technology. <laughs> so don't go away. Uh, I'll show you this product after the intro. And as always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. You hit that notification icon to get a notification of my videos as soon as they're released. That way you don't miss any of them. All right, guys, welcome back to Hayes Tech. Uh, today we're going to go over or review a chair. <laughs> I know, guys, a chair. Uh, but this is not just any chair. Uh, this is the Serta brand executive chair. Uh, you can get them at Walmart. Uh, that's where I got mine. Uh, I'm not sure if, you know, where else you can get them at, but I know for sure you can get them at Walmart. Uh, before I get started on this review, I want to take the time to ask you all to hit that like button down below. It helps me out a lot. Also, if any of my videos have helped you in any way, please consider subscribing. I also have another channel called Life Post Stroke uh, with behind the scenes videos from this channel, uh, help tips for stroke victims like myself, uh, how to move on with your life after enduring a life changing injury, as well as some outdoor activities. Basically, uh, it's a channel with how to get on with your life after having a stroke. Now back to this sweet ass chair. Man, and let me, let me get out of the way right now. Uh, I'm, I'm not getting anything from Serta. I'm not getting anything from Walmart uh, for reviewing this really nice chair. Uh, this thing swivels, as you guys can see me doing right now. Uh, it tilts back, back and forth. Uh, you have to unlock that feature down below, and I'll show you guys all of that uh, in this video. Uh, it is height adjustable. <laughs> let, me, let me put it back up. Uh, it does roll across hard surfaces and I, I am also including uh, industrial carpet. Um, even some thick carpet, although it doesn't roll quite as smooth, um, but if you have industrial carpet, it'll roll across that just like it's on a hard surface. Um, this chair is also made of the best quality materials. Um, I'm talking about aluminum, uh, steel, and leather. Uh, and yes, it's leather. I love this freaking chair. If you guys can't tell already, yeah. Uh, why am I doing this review? Um, I've been asked by about six people that follow my channel to, you know, I brought this chair up in a couple of my videos and they said, hey, why don't you review that chair? I'm looking for a chair. So guys, this is my review of this chair. And it's going to be hard for me to pry my fat ass out of it because, man, I love it. Okay, this desk chair slash computer chair has some of the best seating comfort that I've come across in some time. And I would know. My last job, as you guys know, uh, I was a supervisor for a pretty large company. The company was called Hilex. For 20 years I was there. Uh, in the last six or seven years I was a supervisor, uh, which meant I was in management and I sat, I had to, according to my job description, sit on my ass for quite some time in some cases, especially when I was doing reviews or anything, you know, administrative. Okay, now this chair, the Serta Executive Chair, was made with comfort in mind. Uh, they did put comfort as its top priority. Again, made of metal, uh, steel, aluminum, leather, uh, with generously placed cushions uh, for your ass, your, okay, I should say your butt, um, and your back and your thighs. Uh, it does have a lower lumbar support section in it. Uh, it's basically a pocket in the lower lumbar section that you can stuff a supplied uh, memory foam cushion into it. And that supports your lower lumbar region. So you can go with the lower you know, lumbar support or not. That's all up to you. You know, by either putting in the cushion or taking out the cushion. And again, I'm gonna show you guys all of this uh, when we get to the chair. Now I want to get the whole description out of the way before we start getting into the chair, um, but I'll probably go over this again. Uh, the leather is all double stitched uh, and reinforced in areas of stress or where needed. Um, it is very durable. The leather has a fabric-like material on the back of it, 
kind of like pleather is made. That's P-L-E-A-T-H-E-R, pleather, it's fake leather. Uh, they have like a material on the back of it. Well, this does too, but this is real leather. Uh, they used the material to aid in ripping or tearing or just, you know, to give it a better construction. Now, the arms on this thing are both able to rotate up or down or away for ease. You know, you can just rotate it up and away for ease. Uh, it does help you for getting it in and out of tight places, especially in, in and through doorways that aren't quite as wide, you know, as the chair. Basically, you put it like in, give it a little spin, and with the arms up, it'll fit right through. Now, while lightly padded, the arms aren't overly stuffed with padding, causing wrinkles in the leather over years of use. And I do want to get out of the way that uh, the chair does come unassembled, uh, but does supply all the required tools necessary to put it together. Uh, it also comes with a very well thought out set of instructions, let me tell you. It was very easy to follow these instructions. I found that with the help of my 13 year old grandson, uh, we had it all assembled in about 15 or 20 minutes. Um, I do have some video somewhere uh, I'll try to put in here of a time lapse that we did. Okay, this chair is heavy enough that it's, it does inspire confidence when you lean back. You're not, it doesn't feel like you're going to tip over. Now, it does bend back uh, 30 to 45 degrees. For those of those, you know, for those moments that you want to, you know, kind of like just sit back, watch TV, you know, it, it, it's nice, you know, for rocking, whatever. Uh, the ability to swivel uh, is a must in a chair, uh, for any chair that, that I'm going to pick. And this one does swivel 360 degrees. Uh, this makes for accessing drawers and cabinets uh, easy without having to shift your ass uh, in any way, shape, or form. You know. It's, it's that simple, guys. <laughs> and I can see my camera's following me. I can see that little square. So good on you, Canon T6i. All right, so what do you say we go ahead and take a look at the chair itself? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to get some nice shots of it here. Um, I will try to roll it in uh, as I'm discussing it. So let's go take a look at the chair. All right, uh, here is the Serta chair. Uh, that I'm talking about. This is the CERTA Executive Office Desk Chair. Executive Office Desk Chair. The arms do swivel up and out of the way. Just like that. It swivels completely around 360 degrees. And it does swivel back and forth. The back panel on it is ventilated. Oh, it really doesn't show very well, uh, but this is actually perforated. Um, and this is going to be the area where the pouch is. So right here is the area where the cushion goes. This is the cushion pouch or the lumbar pouch. So if I reach in there and I pull on it, you'll see it has a memory foam. Now you can replace this with whatever you want. You can put whatever you want in here, but this is what comes with it. If you want something a little stiffer, uh, then go ahead and put something a little stiffer in there right for right now This works great for me, but you guys may want to put something, you know a little stiffer in there But I'll go ahead and zoom in on that So it would go inside here Now on the back of the chair, it's got an area or a, a, a Like an envelope area where you can put whatever you want into it here and the only mark on the chair whatsoever is right here and that came from uh, this came from one of the grandchildren leaning back on it and striking the countertop right here which is really sharp uh, there is no chair on the planet that's going to keep it from cutting actually no it hit the top right here so again there's really no there's really no chair on the planet no matter what material it is, unless it's just hard wood, uh, that's going to resist a sharp corner like that. And again, as you guys can see, this is uh, Serta, made by Serta, uh, one of the premier furniture manufacturers in the world. Um, I actually have a Serta bed and love it, <laughs> so they know what they're doing when it comes to when it comes to furniture. 
Okay, while we're in this position, I want to show you guys the hardware on the chair. Now you guys can see the underneath of the chair. Uh, this is the lever that you pull to raise and lower the chair or unlock the tilting. You have to pull straight out that way to unlock the tilting feature in it. This, you turn this whichever way you want. You turn it in, it stiffens up the tilting function on it. You turn it out, it loosens up the tilting function on it. And of course, these are your rollers, which are removable. Now you do have to pull them out pretty hard. They're in there, they're in there pretty good. They snap in like that. And there's five of them. Uh, it does have a star-shaped bottom on it. And again, guys, it's it just works great. Uh, it does have a handle on one side of it, which I find kind of weird. I don't know what I'd ever use this for. I'm not sure what this handle would ever come in handy for, but I mean it's there if you want it. But there you have it. Uh, this is pretty much the whole chair. This is a really high grade uh, plastic for the arms. All of the attachments are metal. The legs and stuff down here, uh, this is polymer on uh, this part here, but the axle or the axis that goes up and down is, um, is steel, not aluminum, steel. And again, I mean, it just has features I love. Um, I will be linking the CERTA website uh, in the description down below so you guys can go check their website and uh, probably it, it'll probably have a lot more information on this than what I told you. I'm giving you this information as a user, um, not, uh, not a company that's trying to sell the chair to you. And again, guys, I'm not making no money from CERTA. I'm not making no money from Walmart. Uh, I make no money on my YouTube videos as it is. So uh, that's it. There is, you now have had a look, a very good look at the chair. And it is freaking comfortable. Like I said, this thing is freaking comfortable, man. That gets me dizzy, but all right, back to the where I'm just talking. I've owned this chair for over three months now, and I've used it extensively, uh, at least 10 times a day. Uh, in some cases, you know, hours at a clip. Uh, you know, I use it, you know, to edit videos, and videos take hours and hours and hours. Uh, my ass didn't get numb, you know, from sitting in it. My lower back was well supported uh, with the aid of the pre-mentioned uh, cushion that slips into uh, the lumbar support pocket. Now I did want to just talk about a couple things <clears throat> and this is coming from me, not my script I have over here. My wife purchased this chair back a while ago, months ago. I remember posting on a couple of the videos uh, telling you guys uh, that my wife got me a new chair and I remember uh, uh, again this is where I got that please do a, you know do a review on it uh, so it's been a long time I've had a lot of time to uh, actually use the chair and get to know it uh, again get to be able to tell you guys what I like what I don't like about it uh, and things like that so the things I like I love that it's leather and I have to say that uh, those pleather chairs suck um, even with and I, I wore button-down shirts, most of them 100% cotton. Uh, I would sweat through them and I, I would stick to the damn chairs and I hated them. Um, with this chair, I can tell you right now, I haven't, I haven't experienced that. Uh, that's one of the reasons I like leather. Over the course of four or five months of me using it and using it hard, not only me, but my grandchildren playing on it. Uh, my grandson, uh, as you guys know, if you've seen any videos, uh, you know he is a very big boy. Uh, he goes six, six, two and a half now, and he's about 250 pounds. I would not want to piss him off. <laughs> I'm glad he's my grandson and he loves me <laughs> because he could snap me in half, you know, easily. But he he loves this chair. He sits in it. He plays his games in it. That's what you get when you have you know an old antique clock. Anyways, he would use the chair all the time uh, for playing games and, you know, just listening to music, playing his guitar, whatever. Uh, he was using this chair and um, using it very, very hard. And the chair really has no marks on it. 
Some of the threads are starting to wear a little bit in the arms, uh, but again, this is double stitched, uh, stitched and glued, so it's not going anywhere. So uh, with that being said, I wanted to go ahead and give you my honest opinion, guys. Um, if you can afford to get it, because there are cheaper chairs that you know at Walmart that you can buy, I highly suggest spending the extra money and getting this one. Um, you're going to be a lot happier if you spend a little extra and get the executive chair as opposed to getting some of the cheaper ones. Trust me, you will, your ass will thank me. Okay, you can purchase this chair from your local Walmart or even order it on Amazon. Uh, I'll try to put the links in, this, in the description below. Uh, one of the cons that I would say that, or if I had a, one little bitch or gripe about the chair, I wish they would have made the arms a little wider. Uh, right now, you know, you'll see the, the arms are about two and a half inches wide. Uh, three inches would have been perfect. Three and a half inches, outstanding. Other than that, I can't think of anything else that would make this chair any better. Uh, to me, in my mind, I think the chair is perfect. Oh, uh, one, one other thing. If they would have made a headrest, uh, I know most office chairs don't have that, but I've seen some that are ergonomically designed, you know, future-proof that actually have a curb that comes up around and does support your head. Uh, I think that that would be uh, probably, other than, you know, making the arms a little wider, maybe having a little headrest back here, um, the chair is perfect. Um, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, and also that notification bell right next to, to the subscribe button. Uh, that way you guys don't miss any of my videos as soon as I release them. And I'm going to be releasing quite a few now uh, since I'm no longer able to work. Uh, my new full-time job is going to be making YouTube videos. <laughs> Ooh. And I, I like doing it, so it's great. Uh, don't forget, I also have another channel, Life Post Stroke, and we just created a new channel this morning called Noah's Ark. Uh, we are going to be putting um, videos about animals on that, uh, where we go herping. Uh, for those of you that don't know, herping is uh, looking for reptiles. Uh, reptiles, amphibians, stuff like that. We are not going to be just sticking with reptiles. Uh, it is going to be on all animals, but we will be focusing mainly on reptiles since that is uh, basically, you know, my grandson's love, my love, uh, stuff like that. We love reptiles, snakes, uh, lizards, turtles. Well, they're, you know, yeah. Uh, but again, reptiles, amphibians, stuff like that. So guys, I'm going to put the link to all of those. Uh, the Noah's Ark channel is brand new. We haven't uploaded any of any videos as of yet, but they are coming. So look for them to come to that channel. Uh, I just want to thank all of my subscribers. You guys are awesome. So uh, I just want to thank you again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.